Hello, N4HNH here. This is part two of my um, discussion related to 60 meters and the channels. So uh, let me dive right in. I'm going to first talk about channel six. Now, why do I call it channel six? If you buy a radio today that's pre programmed with the 60 meter channels, um, it is uh, the first five are going to be the sideband channels, upper sideband, and mentioned in the previous video. Only ham operators use lower sideband. Um, so in the five megahertz spectrum really is uh, used by the government. So uh, it is upper sideband for the first five channels for us, for ham radio operators. And then the last five are CW. So, uh, you know, again, just to recap the uh, a quick synopsis of my first video is FCC... Uh, was petitioned by the ARRL to give ham operators some spectrum in five megahertz because it works great for emergency communications. Sometimes in, you know, in a regional situation for emergencies, 80 meters doesn't quite have the distance, but then 40 meters, the skip zone is, uh, puts us too far. So we needed to bridge that gap between and five megahertz does that and does it quite well. So the ARRL requested some, um, spectrum, Spectrum from the five megahertz band for uh, for ham. Well, the NTIA fought it. FCC went to bat for us and um, finally came to an agreement. And what happened was um, it, it it's officially called a two point eight kilohertz wide channel, but really it looks more like it's three kilohertz. I'll I'll explain that later, but. The NTIA basically agreed that there were five little areas of the spectrum that they don't use very much. So we have to share it with them. If, they, if, if someone from the government wants one of our five USB channels or our five CW channels, they can um, come on the air and take it and we have to back off. Uh, so, but anyway, so it's shared. Now, the strange part, and this is what makes it difficult for amateur radio operators to understand the 60 meter band if they have never used it or if maybe they're new to the to the hobby it's channelized and so channel six i'm calling it channel six because on most of the radios today that you buy channel six begins the cw portion of 60 meters 5.332 megahertz and uh now let me just sidestep a second and say if you've got an older radio i have an ft890 and an ft920 they didn't come with 60 meters because they precede um you know when 60 meters became available to us and so uh i had to do the mars mod and then i can go in and i can um, add these channels as it were now in that case i'm going to for sideband channel one i'm going to actually turn my VFO until my display reach 5.330.5. And that's going to be where my carrier point will be for, for using upper sideband channel one. Okay. We'll get into that a little more detail in a minute, but what I wanted to illustrate here, I wanted you to understand that it's a, uh, it's an agreement that the center of the channel is what's displayed on the radio. If you buy a radio, but if you're going to modify it yourself, you're going to want to program in 5.330.5. That's what you're going to rotate your VFO to and then set it to USB and then store that in one of your memories and then go on through and do the other nine. Now, when you get to channel six, you will actually dial up 5.332 because the CW um, channels are indeed as shown. So there's some verbiage in the agreement that the manufacturers like Yesu would have to call this, even if it's channel one for sideband, they have to call it what the center of the channel is, meaning the channel meaning plus and minus as the center of the channel. Imagine it's like a river and you're in the center of the channel. We can occupy one point, technically it's 1.4. Let me, let me, again, let me say, if you read it, it says that we can occupy 2.8 kilohertz, so presumably 1.4 kilohertz above and below the center of the channel. Well, 
the FCC says when we're going to use sideband for 60 meters, we can a we actually set our radio to transmit 1.5 kilohertz below the center of the channel. So we set it to 5.330.5. But again, the manufacturers are obligated to display it as 5.332. What you do with your own radio is up to you. And if you saw my previous video, I actually used a tagging feature in the FT891 to make my channel one display 5.330.5 just so um, I, I'm not confused when I'm up on a mountaintop for summits on the air and I'm putting out a spot. I don't want to look at my display and say, well, I'm on 5.332 USB because that's really 5.330.5 and here's why. Let's, to understand that, I'm going to go back to channel six, CW. So with CW, we're, you know, continuous wave, right? We're transmitting a carrier. So that carrier turns on and off and the receiver on the other end uses something called a beat frequency oscillator to create a frequency. Let's say you set your side tone to 600 hertz. So it's going to create a frequency that is 600 hertz different from the 5.332 you're listening to, and that's going to produce a difference of 600 hertz, and that is sent to your speaker for you to listen as a side tone. So you know that with CW, we're not transmitting the tone. It's created on the other end. So indeed, the center of the channel happens to also be where the carrier is transmitted for CW. But on sideband, the carrier point moves down 1.5 kilohertz, and here's why that is. So to do that, I'm going to discuss, I'm going to go to amplitude modulation for a second. We, we can't use amplitude modulation on um, 60 meters, but I'll use it as an illustration. Like an AM broadcast radio, all right? It's transmitting a carrier for, so that the something called the detector circuit in your receiver can lock onto that. And when it locks onto that, it knows where to find these. And these are called sidebands. And there's an upper sideband and a lower sideband, USB and LSB. And that is where the music or talking or whatever information is. So the purpose of the carrier is just to help the receiver lock on and know where to go to find the, the audio information. That would be AM broadcast. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, sidestep again and I want to talk about CB radio. And the reason is CB radio will help us understand why a sideband is more efficient than amplitude modulation, than AM. Well, so with AM, you've got a carrier and two sidebands. Well, what we're saying is the same in both sidebands. So, uh, you know, decades ago, uh, ham operators realized, well, what if we were to get rid of the carrier in one of the sidebands and put all of our power into one sideband? It would be a much more efficient uh, transmitter. Well, let's relate this to CB radio. CB radio is limited to a four watt carrier. Now, a CB radio's, uh, if you buy a model that can do sideband, the transmitter's capable of 12 watts. So if you think about it, we've got four watts used up in the carrier. Four watts, this is very simplified explanation here, but I'm, I'm trying to make this a tutorial uh, for new, new people to the hobby as well. So we've got four watts assigned to the carrier. Four watts is being used by the lower sideband. Four watts is being used by the upper sideband. Well, so even in a CB radio, if we suppress, as what it's called, the lower sideband, for example, and only transmit the upper sideband, and we also suppress the carrier, then we can use all of our transmitter's capability for just that upper sideband, and we can have 12 watts of power. That's an illustration why sideband is more efficient than amplitude modulation. Okay, so now with that as a backdrop, let's get back to 60 meters. What uh, the problem with 60 meters is that we've got this center of the channel and a plus or minus, like I said, if you read it, it says 1.4 kilohertz plus and minus because it says 2.8 kilohertz total. But since we can go down 1.5 and we're told to go down 1.5 for sideband, it seems like it must be three kilohertz of spectrum, okay? Now, um, what's, what happens is, let me get back out of here. 
So with our um, 60 meter channels being that this, what's displayed on the radio is the center of the channel. Even, like I said, if you buy a radio, even on the sideband channels, it's gonna display that as 5.332. Now I'm gonna uh, talk about channel one here. So we're now talking about the sideband channel. It's still gonna say 5.332, but Yesu, for example, when they program the radio for the 60 meter channels, they intentionally program it to where when we're on channel one and it goes to USB mode, it shifts the carrier down, carrier point down one and a half kilohertz. So it's going to be down here at 5.330.5. The display is still going to say what the center of the channel is. And again, there's some legal verbiage that requires them to do that. You jailbreak your own radio and you program in 60 meters then you can make it display 5.330.5. If you look at my, again, my, my FT891 video from the previous video, I used my FT891 as an example. I used the tagging feature to mask over the 5.332 and make, make mine say 5.330.5. So go back and look at that video if you want to learn how to do that. Uh, again, just to keep me from being confused when I'm posting. But, um, all right. So what we're doing is we're actually shifting the carrier point. So if this was channel 6 CW, the carrier point's here, center at, at, at the center of the channel. But for sideband, we're going to shift the carrier point down 1.5 kilohertz and start it here. And the reason we do it that way is so that we can use that full 2.8 kilohertz of spectrum. Now, let me illustrate that by doing this. Yesu could program the radio since they're, they're programming in those memories in there and we can't change them. Uh, they could limit it to 1.4 kilohertz of bandwidth here on the upper sideband and still use 5.332 as the center of the channel, we would just have very thin sounding audio, 1.4 kilohertz, very thin. So the FCC allows us to do this, shift the carrier point down by 1.5 kilohertz and your upper sideband starts there and then it can occupy 1.4 plus 1.4 2.8 kilohertz of bandwidth. So we get good sounding transmit audio. That's a typical uh, bandwidth for even the other sideband, uh, um, uh, sideband on 40 meters, 20 meters, what have you. So that's why we're doing that because we still have to stay within this spectrum that we've been assigned. And again, it's legally and officially considered that the center of that channel is the frequency that you're displaying. So, you know, we just fooled it a little bit uh, by going down 1.5 kc with our carrier. So just grasp this from, the, from this illustration. On sideband, the center of the channel is not where the carrier is. It's 1.5 kilohertz below the center of the channel. With CW on 60 meters, the center of the channel is also where the, uh, the carrier will be transmitted. Now, and you do realize, of course, let me do this with red here. What's happening when we do the sideband and we go down 1.5 kilohertz, our carrier is here, but but it, remember, it's being suppressed. So is the lower sideband. It's, it's all wiped out and we're only transmitting the upper sideband. But now by doing that, that little trick of going down 1.5 kilohertz to begin our upper sideband, so that's our carrier point, we now get the entire 2.8 kilohertz of spectrum to occupy for our audio, so we sound good. All right, I hope that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope that helped clear up some of the confusion about the 60 meter channels. They are different than the rest of our uh, bands. And um, I, th I thought maybe to do this as a graphical illustration and uh, make this a part two to that discussion. So I wanna thank uh, you for visiting my channel. N4H and H um, is my uh, call sign. And I appreciate you visiting and I appreciate, uh, I, th I think I have a couple of Patreons now. I, I, um, Appreciate that because uh, every little bit helps. Uh, you can join at the five, ten, or twenty dollar a month level, and that'll help me keep the videos coming. Um, because you know, well, um, I can maybe make the make the videos look a little better too. I don't know. You know, this is pretty crude here. What I'm doing with a tablet and the and the phone, but um, you know, just uh, any help at all is appreciated. You can do that by going to www.patreon.com forward slash n four h and h www.patreon.com slash my call sign in for H N H. 
Okay, thanks for watching. 73 from N4H&H.